On Saturday afternoon, the Quinnipiac Bobcats defeated the Columbia Lions 2-0. Both teams had three shots in the first half, but none were real threats to either goalkeepers. There are only two corner kicks between both teams with Quinnipiac taking both opportunities. The first half ended at 0-0. Neither team was able to generate much offense in the first half, as there was a stalemate in the midfield. However, Quinnipiac was able to break through in the second half. The game was uh, very evenly played between the two teams in the first half, and um, I think both teams were trying to play and trying to attack, but both uh, back lines were doing a good job of uh, limiting the other team to you know, chances further away from goal, and, uh, and it was a challenge in the midfield. Uh, in the second half, we just made a couple of minor adjustments. You know, we, we tweaked some players in terms of their positioning and uh, asked them to do something different when, when we were looking to play out of the back, and I think our boys did a good job. In the 57th minute, freshman midfielder Max Rothenbucher broke the tie and gave Quinnipiac a 1-0 lead. 15 minutes later, junior midfielder James Greco put away the second goal, sealing the deal for Quinnipiac. Offense is certainly the story of the second half. However, as the half wore on, physical play disrupted the flow of the match, and both teams were penalized with three yellow cards each. The physicality took the forefront of the latter part of the match, but Quinnipiac was able to finish strong and secure the win. I think our boys did a good job of putting that aside and focused on you know, see, closing out the match and, and getting, uh, getting the result and not conceding the goal. Quinnipiac looks to carry the momentum into their next game on Friday, home against Yale. Nathan Orsini, Q30 Sports.